Hi friends and welcome back all very good morning to all in this video. So friends in this video we are going to see about uh, Kelton Tech Solutions as I already said with you. I mean uh, when I started uh, the coverage it's I think 7 to 8 rupees also. I think uh, after that one week of uh, maybe that announcement the company made a new high of 91.95 and I was pretty happy for it and after that the last one week it was a pure 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 price damage that has happened here. And it has gone below our starting price. Even 78, I hope many of my friends, including me also, would be depressed by seeing what has really happened to the share price. Right? And basically, uh, my friends know that I don't know actually mainly focus on the share price, but I just focus on the business because what I believe is that this kind of temporary rise as well as temporary fall in the market will prevail. That really is the market. But over the long period of term, what I believe is the business. If they can run the business successfully, then it means that it's going to be a good, good turnaround in the near future. I mean, not alone this company, I have seen many companies in which I, I mean, we have seen many companies in which I have discussed the price has gone down and it has to go to massive return. So, what here specifically important? Now, you could ask me the real reason of the fall, right? I think the real reason for the fall is that maybe the market did not like the real outcome of the result even though the result was good and even though the result was a good stable performance there has not been an improved performance so that that is the reason maybe the sharp price is down and second thing is that i, I also do already have attended this uh, con call of uh, kelton tech solutions and i surprisingly noted two important factors what is that is that they are they are appointing some new head for European sector, I mean European uh, based, uh, what to say, IT, uh, IT space, right? And second thing is that uh, what they are trying to convey to the shareholders, I mean, we must try to understand. What they are trying to say is that, yes, our revenues are stagnant, maybe we would rise, rise in the future. But what they are trying to say is that since they are focusing on new area of technologies, they would get, first of all, a less order. And as the day is going by, when the customer becomes very, I uh, would say, very attentive or very, uh, maybe a good relationship goes on, the order size automatically increase. So what they think is that over a period of time, you would get a revenue and that revenue would be stabilized and that revenue would generate a huge profit, right? And now what they are raising some funds for the preferential issues or war displacement. Basically, they want to acquire some companies or maybe they want to acquire some new talents, right? And focusing on new technologies and focusing on new areas of this cryptocurrencies as well as this blockchain technology. And I believe one thing is clear, when you come in, when you come back, happiest to mind versus uh, Kelton Tech Solutions, if you ask me which company would I probably prefer is that I mean I, I I would prefer both these companies because both these companies are focusing on new area of digital transformation as well as a little bit on enterprise solutions oriented. But what I feel is that even after this stagnant even if you say Kelton Tech Solutions has provided a stagnant performance, I think that even after providing this stagnant performance, the company did not achieve the real share price that it wanted. I mean, not even it is not trading above the thousand crore mark that they expected, first of all. And I still also believe this company would trade in a mid three digit levels in the near future coming up. Maybe it could take six months or maybe it could take eight months whenever we actually predict a share which can go higher in the near three year future. But what I try to insist here is that over the period of time when their technological development solutions get hit in the market, right? then the automatically the revenue, revenue base, in, even incremental revenue, we would able to see and we, we could see the real profit. Now, let us come to the second part of the discussion. Whether can I buy now? That is the first, uh, I mean, that is the second question my friends ask. I think, uh, if you ask me whether I have started to acquire some more shares, I mean, I have started to acquire, I mean, maybe I have started to acquire little by little and if, if market is going to give more, more further correction for me, let us take an example, the company is going to 65 rupees, 66 rupees for an example. I think it could even more add, I mean it could even more add a good value for me because I mean I thought 75 rupees or 78 rupees when you start a college could be the uh, margin of safety that is 73 to 75 rupees. But it has sunken below my margin of safety levels and so I think that maybe I could get this share at a discount level in the near future. If I go to get it then I will be very happiest person to see here. And second thing I want to say is that the third wave is coming and 
maybe the it stocks could be the favor thing and the second thing is that dollar is weakening again 74 or 75 it is nearing to 74 to 75 mark it companies could be the beneficiaries beneficiaries for it i think we need to understand what are the implications of going on all these kind of it companies i believe that is a real thing that we need to focus on if you ask me whether it could be a favorable price yes start if you want to buy start to acquire bit by bit bit by bit mean maybe for an example if you wish to buy 100 shares right i don't know how the market condition is going to go per day i will buy 20 shares and so that it for 5 days if the price is going to be average it is going to be important right and i still believe in this company i still believe in the management they are quite optimistic and they are quite what to say focused on what they what they need to do maybe the revenue has not increased or maybe the revenue has the profitability has not increased but we need to understand they also sold their sub two of the two of the holding subsidies for 12 million dollars the previous year so we can't able to compare the year on year performance also that is the basic thing people need to understand but i still believe that company is undervalued maybe in the near future or the days going by as we always say let me be patient and let me see whether my patience is going to pay reward for me in the near future days coming ahead. Thank you friends and bye.